sentient beings, limitless as space, especially those enemies who hate me, obstructors who harm me, and those who create obstacles on my path to liberation and omniscience. May they experience happiness, be free from suffering, and swiftly may they attain precious, unsurpassed, perfectly complete enlightenment. All mother sentient beings, limitless as space, especially those enemies who hate me, obstructors who harm me, and those who create obstacles on my path to liberation and omniscience. May they experience happiness, be free from suffering, and swiftly may they attain precious, unsurpassed, perfectly complete enlightenment. <laughs> For that purpose, until I attain Buddhahood, I will apply my body, speech, and mind to virtue. Until death, I will apply my body, speech, and mind to virtue. From today until this time tomorrow, I will apply my body, speech, and mind to virtue. Sanjian <laughs> I take refuge in the Buddhas until I attain the essence of awakening. Likewise, I take refuge in the Dharma and in the assembly of the Bodhisattvas. Just as the Buddhas of the past gave rise to bodhicitta and progressed along the Bodhisattva's path, so shall I give rise to bodhicitta for the benefit of all beings and practice the stages of the Bodhisattva's path. I take refuge in the Buddhas until I attain the essence of awakening. Likewise, I take refuge in the Dharma and in the assembly of the Bodhisattvas, just as the Buddhas of the past gave rise to bodhicitta and progressed along the Bodhisattva's path. So shall I give rise to bodhicitta for the benefit of all beings and practice the stages of the Bodhisattva's path. <laughs> Until awakening, I take refuge in the Buddha Dharma and the Supreme Assembly by the merit of generosity and other good deeds. May I attain <coughs> Buddhahood for the benefit of all beings. Until awakening, I take refuge in the Buddha Dharma and the Supreme Assembly. By the merit of generosity and other good deeds, may I attain Buddhahood for the benefit of all beings. <laughs> Yeah, 
da da ba ja de do ma da ja da da ba ja de do ma mi be de wo da me da ba ja de ni re ja da ni da da we da nyo la ne ba ja All mother sentient beings, limitless as space, have happiness and the causes of happiness. May they be free from suffering and the causes of suffering. May they not be separated from the happiness that is free from sorrow. May they rest in equanimity, free from attachment and aversion. May all mother sentient beings, limitless as space, have happiness and the causes of happiness. May they be free from suffering and the causes of suffering. May they not be separated from the happiness that is free from sorrow. May they rest in equanimity, free from attachment and aversion. Now we'll go to the Lama Chopa text. <coughs> <laughs> Nyam dai ga jan ro dor se la ma san ji du zai zai To the Guru deity embodiment of the three jewels I go for refuge until enlightenment is reached in order to liberate pitiful wayfaring beings pervading space I will strive to accomplish the Guru Buddha to the guru deity embodiment of the three jewels i go for refuge until enlightenment is reached in order to liberate pitiful wayfaring <coughs> beings pervading space i will strive to accomplish the guru buddha oi la ta me yen je be je mo so jam da ye je do so na sa wa la me be the offering substances of gods and humans those actually arranged and those mentally gathered outer inner secret and unsurpassed may they pervade all reaches of space no more na da ya ya no more banga wa de ben za za ra da ma da ne da da ga za ya ha de sa ya sa be da ya de ya da wo ben za ben za ma ha ben ma ha de zo be za ma ha be ya ben za ma ha bo de je da ben Ma bo de men do ba sa da ma na ben za sa wa ga a wa ra na be jo da ne ben za ye so wa na mo ra na da ya ya na mo ba ga wa de ben za sa ra da ma da ne da da ga da ya har har de sam ya sam bu da ya
the Yeram deity in the space in front on a supreme and splendid jeweled throne is a seat of lotus moon and sun upon which sits the supreme lord Jigden Sungun, inseparable from the root guru white tinged with red and shining with the radiance of the major and minor marks wearing saffron colored dharma robes a monk's vest and a red meditation hat the sign of having accomplished the ultimate truth Within a five-colored rainbow sphere, he abides in the Vajra posture, absorbed in the Mara subduing concentration and mudra. He is surrounded by the golden garland of the ultimate lineage, who are one with the Guru's view, conduct, and meditation. In the front and back, to the right and left, on lion thrones and seats of lotus and moon, the assembly of Yadam deities, the three jewels, the Dharma guardians, gather like clouds. Light radiating from the syllables at their three places invites the wisdom beings in those identical forms. <laughs> Victorious Lord Gyapopa, endowed with the ability of the ten strengths, together with your retinue, the ocean of the three jewels and three roots, by virtue of your previous pledges, quickly come here to this place with compassion and love for wayfaring beings. Please be seated firmly with delightful countenance on a lion throne, lotus, and moon. With bodies as numerous as atoms, I prostrate to the embodiment of inconceivable qualities. <laughs>
I offer you oceans of pure lands with offerings filling the expanse of space, water for drinking and washing feet, lotuses, clouds of incense, arrays of lamps, sweet fragrances, food, melodious songs and music. of desirable objects pleasing to the senses, the seven precious royal attributes, the eight auspicious symbols and substances, and so forth. I offer them to the victorious ones. <laughs> I offer a mandala of the billion-fold universe in the ten directions strewn with heaps of Mount Meru, the continents and subcontinents, and adored with a myriad desirable attributes. Please accept it and grant accomplishment here and now. Now, Sir Kama. <coughs> Now we'll do the long Sirkama prayer, seven <coughs> branches of the mantra that are called Sirkama. Je 
gaze upon the supreme self-arisen Lama seated on the immutable, spontaneously established throne here in the mandala of primordially pure mind as it is in the supreme palace of all victorious ones of the three times. I gaze upon the supreme Lama who is meaningful to behold. The instant I behold that great bliss of Dharmadhatu, I cross the vast ocean of samsara and arrive at the blissful pure ground. 
With the eye of wisdom, I gaze unwaveringly upon the Lama, the victorious hero in the battle. Just by remembering that refuge, all afflicting emotions, thoughts, and the hordes of Mars are defeated. In your body, the victorious ones of the three times of all ten directions appear together with their offspring. With joy, I gaze upon your body adorned with all the major and minor marks, seated on the throne of fearlessness, lotus, sun, and moon. Three kayas, nature of the mind, Vajradhara, you are inseparable from great bliss, bowing down to you with innumerable bodies like cloud banks, yearning with a full voice, I prostrate and go for refuge. Your body, the nature of precious bodhicitta, is inseparable from all the victorious ones of the three times. Thus all Buddha fields are permeated by your body, and within your body all Buddha fields appear. I bow down to the glorious one. With your flawless, melodious speech, like an ocean of ambrosia, you show all phenomena to be unborn. Thereby defeating the Mount Meru of views, I prostrate to you unhindered Vajra speech. In the mandala of immutable mind beyond thought, you never move from the equanimity state of Dharmadhatu, yet you hold the wisdom power of knowing the three times. I prostrate to the spontaneously established non-duality. Even if expressed during all oceans of kalpas, <coughs> by all the victorious ones without exception, the qualities of your body, speech, and mind would not be completed. I prostrate to you who possesses limitless qualities. Until the ocean of samsara is exhausted, you perform the supreme activities that ripen all sentient beings. I prostrate to you the Lama who is the manifold, effortlessly arising, unceasing, supreme refuge. Oceans of emanated offerings to you delight the victorious ones and ripen all sentient beings. Having completely filled the Dharmadhatu, I make this unsurpassed offering unceasingly. From the heart palace of the great being radiates the light of immeasurable bodhicitta. Thus in all the pure lands of the ten directions, innumerable beautiful offering goddesses manifest, holding water, flowers, incense, lamps, supreme scents, and food. From the cloud banks of the offerings, rain falls, delighting the victorious ones of the three times, thereby filling the spheres of the realms. I make offerings to the victorious ones of the three times. Light radiates once more from the body of the victorious one, manifesting parasols, victory banners, draped banners, canopies, musical instruments, garments, precious jewels, medicine, and grains. I offer ocean-like cloud banks of these manifold offerings. The seven precious royal attributes like the wheel, the seven subsidiary ones like the mansion, the auspicious substances, the substances of the cities, and so on, have arisen from the two accumulations. Please accept these offerings. Furthermore, I behold in my mind and offer to the protector all offerings throughout the limitless pure lands of the victorious ones that belong to an owner and do not belong to an owner, and all that is worthy to be offered. I offer all pure lands of the victorious ones of the three times, which are the very pure mandalas of the three kayas, completely filled with the flawless prosperity. Please accept these offerings, you the Lord of compassion. To you, protector, I offer my body, speech, and mind, all wealth equal to space without exception, and all the virtues accumulated in the three times. Out of compassion, please accept these for the benefit of all sentient beings. By seeing, hearing, smelling, tasting, touching, and re recollecting the Vajra goddesses of form, sound, odor, taste, and tangible objects, the three obscurations are purified. I offer the goddesses of appealing objects to you. Please accept them, immaculate, for victorious Lord. The Vajra goddess of body, nature of form, is the supreme goddess of fully purified ignorance. I merge her with the eyes of the Lama, Lord of Dharma. Please accept this in the great bliss of non-duality. The Vajra goddess of mind, nature of sound, is the supreme goddess of fully purified hatred. I merge her with the ears of the Lama, Lord of Dharma. Please accept this in the great bliss of non-duality. The Vajra goddess of qualities, nature of odor, is the supreme goddess of fully purified arrogance. I merge her with the nose of the Lama, Lord of Dharma. Please accept this in the great bliss of non-duality. 
The Vajra goddess of speech, nature of taste, is the supreme goddess of fully purified desire. I merge her with the tongue of the Lama, Lord of Dharma. Please accept this in the bliss of non-duality. The Vajra goddess of activity, nature of tangible objects, is the supreme goddess of fully purified jealousy. I merge her with the body of the Lama, Lord of Dharma. Please accept this in the bliss of non-duality. The Vajra goddess of primordial emptiness of all phenomena, nature of sound, is the supreme goddess of fully purified mind, as it is. I merge her with the mind of the Lama, Lord of Dharma. Please accept this in the great bliss of non-duality. I offer means and wisdom inseparable, the supreme victorious one, the five families with consorts, the assembly of Veeras and Dakinis, and the Buddha's filling limitless sky. Please accept this great bliss. From the equality of all phenomena, the ocean-like samadhi of oceans of unwavering manifestations arise and guide all beings. Please accept the assemblies of the victorious offspring, the bodhisattvas who rule all Buddha fields. The ones of great fierce, wrathful out of immeasurable compassion, show grinding teeth and fierce faces on their posing bodies. Please accept these wrathful, victorious ones of primordial wisdom, who defeat the hordes of Maras by the roar of Hong and Pei. All manifold clouds of outer, inner, and secret offerings are offered in this vast mandala of Samantabhadra's mind, within the mode of abiding of unchanging non-duality, the unsurpassed offering of suchness is offered. All phenomena are primarily and completely pure as it is. Within that, whatever confusion, dualistic appearance of oneself and others, distinction of good and bad, hatred and attachment there might be, each and everything I confess, may it be purified within that state. With a happy mind, I rejoice in all virtues of all the victorious ones of the three times, of the assemblies of the superior ones, of the unceasing wheel of the two accumulations, and of sentient beings. I beseech you, protectors in the worlds of the ten directions, by completely turning the wheel of stainless dharma with the sound of the ocean, like branches of melodious speech, please ripen all sentient beings without exception. I beseech you, protectors who abide throughout all realms, please do not pass into nirvana until the exhaustion of the Datu of space. Rather, fulfill your commitments by abiding permanently. May all sentient beings be established in the unsurpassed supreme state by this virtue, by the virtues accumulated in the three times throughout all of samsara and nirvana, and by the undefiled innate virtue, by the light rays of immeasurable great compassion from the palace of body, speech, and mind of the victorious one. Please purify my body, speech, and mind and thus transform it into your body, speech, and mind. Protector, as you made offerings and delighted the sublime Lama, likewise may I always offer ocean-like clouds of offerings and delight you. May I follow in your footsteps. May I perform limitless activities that do not even waver a hair's tip with respect to the liberation of your body, speech, and mind. May I be renowned in the three worlds. Thus may anybody just by hearing my name or remembering me by be completely liberated from the tormenting suffering and attain the state of great bliss of the victorious ones. May I turn into any form equal to the expanse of sentient beings, taming them according to their needs. Thereupon, may they take refuge joyfully and be established in the unsurpassed supreme awakening. Those, those ones who are oppressed with shrouds of ignorance, who lost the path, who are threatened by afflicting emotions, such as the henchmen of the Lord of Death, may helplessly remember in me and instantly find the supreme path becoming the inexhaustible wheel of ornamentation, which is body, speech, and mind of all victorious ones of the three times, may I completely dry out the ocean of samsara and establish all sentient beings in the unsurpassed supreme state. In all my lives, may I never be separated from authentic lamas and enjoy the glories of the Dharma. By completely perfecting the qualities of bhumis and paths, may I swiftly attain the state of Vajradhara. Return to the Lama Chopa text. Mm-hmm. 
devotion and faith, I pay homage with my three doors to the Guru who embodies all Sugatas of the three times. I present you with oceans of offering clouds, outer, inner, and secret. I confess each and every wrongdoing and failing created by the three poisons. I rejoice in the activities of the three secrets. Please turn the Dharma wheel of the three vehicles and continue to remain in the nature of the three Vajras. I dedicate all the oceans of gathered virtue, the complete purity of the three spheres, in order to attain the unsurpassed state of the three kayas. <laughs> Precious Guru, who is the supreme refuge, worthy of homage, embodiment of the victorious ones of infinite directions and times, the very nature of the ocean of attributes, I faithfully pay homage and praise you with a hundred thousand melodious sounds. <laughs> Mahamed as a Yeah. 
Shri, the father with his lineage of sons, the refuge and protector of beings wandering in the three planes of existence, whose essence of body, speech, and mind is blessed by all the victorious ones in the ten directions and three times, I pray. Grant me your blessings that I may realize the illusory body to be Nirmanakaya. Grant me your blessings that I may realize the life force energies to be Sambhogakaya. Grant me your blessings that I may realize mind itself to be Dharmakaya. Grant me your blessings that I may attain Buddhahood in a single lifetime. As th- I thus supplicate, the retinue dissolves into the Guru. From the Guru's forehead, throat, heart, and navel radiates white, red, blue, and yellow light, which dissolves into my four places, thus gradually purifying the four obscurations the four empowerments are obtained and the seeds of the four kayas are sown. Finally, the Guru also transforms into a mass of light and dissolves into <coughs> me. The Guru's three secrets and my three doors merge into great equality. I dedicate all the virtue of the of thus practicing well the glorious guru and of offering praising and supplicating so that all beings dwelling in the three realms of samsara may attain the state of guru the whole of samsara and nirvana Dengue la maje vezonante, 
of the three secrets of the three chariots of the sutra and mantra vehicles and by the qualities of the kind guru and lineage masters may there be the auspiciousness that all beings accomplish maha mudra the supreme <coughs> attainment